All right, guys, I want to pick up where we left off now. Now we're going to add color to the car, and we're going to go into the polygonal lasso tool, which is the other tool in your cropping tools. This one, you're able to crop and grab things only where you direct the, the mouse. The magnetic grabs pixels and contrast. The polygonal lasso tool, it's going to only go where you direct it. So let's go to it. I'm going to go to this tool right here. There's my layers we made previously. There's your back rim, your front rim, and your car. All right. Now we're going to go to the polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to just highlight the headlight here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to change it to like those indiglow blues, like how they have those um, different headlights where they have different colors and stuff, which aren't really legal, but we're just going to do it for aesthetic purposes here. So we're going to trace these headlights here, right here, right around the edge. Perfect. Now, you have to be in the car layer. If I'm in the rim, front rim layer and I go to edit, cut, copy rather, always do edit, copy. If I do edit, copy, look what happens. It says that layer is empty. What does that mean? That means that I'm in this layer here and I'm trying to copy this information out of this layer, which is here. It's impossible. You have to be in the car layer. So I copy this information out of this layer. All right. So there's my back rim, my front rim, my car. Within the car layer, I go to edit. Do not do cut, or you're going to destroy your light and ruin your original reference. You do edit, copy. Copy, edit, paste. And all you did is just paste your headlight in a separate layer, and you're going to bring it above. So I'm taking the layer one, which I'm going to double click and call it right light. Headlight, right headlight. So now I'll take the right headlight, put it all the way up to the top. And in the top layer, I'm going to hit control B. This is called the color balance menu. In the color balance menu, you can edit the, the, the process colors, cyan, magenta, yellows, crimsons, red, blue, and blue, blue and green. So I'm going to just change it to cyan, and you're going to see it move a little bit. In the right headlight layer, watch this headlight here. You're going to see it change a bit. You see it changing? Now I'm going to go to cyan, and I'll go all the way to blue. I like that. That looks pretty sleek, and it kind of matches this... Uh, this outline of the grill. This is a concept car too, so it's you know you're not really going to see this on the on the street, but it's cool to design. So now we have it here, and I'm going to hit OK. By the way, when I trace this light, I know that when I was in the color balance menu, I went cyan all the way to the left, negative 100, and the blue all the way to the right, which is positive 100. If you love a specific color, you have to know those numbers so you can recreate them again. All right. So I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool again. I'm going to go to my car layer. And now I'm going to get a little bit closer to my headlight. Grab the hand and you can move your, your picture plane. And now I'm going to adjust with the polygonal. Oh, and if something has good contrast, you can use the magnetic lasso tool to crop and trace. But for now, explore a new tool. Go to the polygonal lasso. All right. At your discretion, if you feel confident and you like the magnetic, you can use it. You learned it already, but try and broaden your horizons a little and use this one now. So we're going to trace the perimeter of the light. Go around. All right. There it is. Don't worry about this. You're not going to see it. In the car layer, you go to edit, copy, edit, paste. Drag this layer all the way up to the top. I know I'm going a little quick, but I want you guys to do this fast. I'm going to call this left light, left headlight. I don't care if you call your layers peanut butter and jelly, as long as you know what layer is in reference to what. I'm going to hit control zero. Now in the left headlight, I'm going to hit control B or image adjustments color balance, which is control B. In the color balance menu, again, like we said, watch the headlight now. It's going to go cyan all the way negative and blue all the way positive and hence we have a universal grill now. Everything matches, it's in the glow and uh, it looks really sharp. All right. That's all I want you to focus on for now is the making new layers, bringing them up to the top so they're visible and then I want you to change the color of them with the color balance menu. And now we learn the magnetic lasso tool and now you guys are going into the polygonal lasso tool. All right. Um, good luck and have fun.